I'm Dump Truck DS. Welcome back to Quick Mapping with Trench Broom. In this episode, we're going to be troubleshooting common issues that come up when you're mapping. One of the most common errors that people make is having spaces in their map names or their compiling paths. We made a folder called C Quake Dev, and then inside that folder are tools and you have your compiling tools. None of those folders or files can have spaces in them. This is the number one thing I see all the time. People go on Funk Message Board and say, my map won't compile, here's the, here's the error. And you can see right there, there's spaces. You might see percentage signs in the error message where those spaces are. Uh, and that's your first clue. So no spaces in the file names or paths of the compiling tools. Next, we're gonna talk about leaks, and leaks affect new mappers and experienced mappers the same. Uh, there are ways to get rid of leaks in your maps, and it's important to get rid of leaks in your map. So here we go. We're in our zombie map, and I've made it a little bit bigger, um, and I've intentionally placed a leak in the map. So what a leak is, is as I mentioned in the quick start video, you wanna have all these seams connected and the inside of your map needs to, you need to pretend that it's a container for water. And if there's any holes in your map anywhere along these seams facing the void or entering the void, you're gonna have what's called a leak. I've put a leak in this map intentionally and I'm gonna run the compiling suite. I'm setting these to pause so we can take a look at the error messages. And that's why these exist. You wanna be able to kind to monitor that. When you're building levels, you don't always run all of these. It just depends on your workflow. But since this is such a small map and there's a few lights in it, it's gonna compile super fast. So I'm hitting Control C to compile. So it's run QBSP, but it hasn't run Viz or Lite, the other two programs. And we've got the warning here. I'll zoom in a little bit. Warning 10, reach occupant at, and then this is the uh, origin of the occupant, the coordinates. The most important thing is that a leak file was written. It's called a point file. And we're gonna deal with that in just a second. We're gonna load that up. So if there's a leak in your map, viz, the next program will not run as you can see here. So it says no vising performed. So I'll hit it one more time because it's paused and waiting. And now light will run and it'll look normal. Your map will look normal. However, viz is an important part of the process. A map with a leak will not viz ever. Back in Trench Broom, we're gonna load up that point file. So you go to File, Load, Point File. We get this green line that appears and sh is gonna show us right where the leak is. So as you can see here, this is the occupant I was talking about in the error. So if you have a large map, and sometimes it's harder to find leaks because the point file is really huge and travels the you know all over the map. I've had that happen before. So if that's the case and you can't seem to find it, you wanna go to the View menu, Camera, and move to the next point. You can also use the coordinates that were recorded in the error message. We're gonna do both of those things. First of all, I'm gonna to go to next point. And so it's very obvious here, but a lot of times leaks will be tiny little things, like a little seam that you kind of goofed up on. So I'm using comma and period to navigate between those points. I'm gonna unload the point file. You go to file, unload. Now let's see where those coordinates were. Oh, the window's gone. Luckily the compiling programs will log for you. So in Quake Dev and working, you'll find a log file named after your map. And you can see these coordinates here. If you're having trouble finding your leak, this might help you. It's kind of a black magic, so it may not help you at all. <laughs> but what we can do is go back to the view menu, go to camera, move camera to, and then paste in those coordinates. And it's gonna go to the zombie. It's gonna go to the origin of the zombie. So you're kind of inside this dude. Right as his, oh, that's pretty. Right at his origin. That's what it would look like. It'd be like, oh, okay, there's a, a line directly at this guy. So let me hit the next point file. Now I'm gonna unload this and I'm gonna show you another trick. So let's say you cannot find the leak. Create a brush. It doesn't matter what it looks like. It's just gonna be a kind of worker brush. This is a brute force method. You probably won't ever have to do this, but you might. I had to do it once just recently. And so let's go, okay, well, I'm gonna to try to break this map up into you know quadrants here. All right, let's just say half. We're not gonna play it like this and we're obviously gonna get rid of it. You block out a giant piece, compile and see, well, by a process of elimination, you can find the leak. So that's kind of the last worst case scenario. The point file most of the time is gonna help you out if you have a leak. Just be careful when you're dealing with any brush that touches the void. Um, I've had entire maps that I've worked on there and never had a leak just because I was so careful not to 
create one. That being said, a leak can also be created by weird brush stuff. I made a simple arch and placed it in the map and, you know, I was iterating on the map and I tried to compile. I'm like, wait, I leaked it? I mean, so I looked all over, I loaded the point file and then finally um, realized, you know, by going to Funk Message Board that weird geometry can actually cause a leak. So I'm like, ah, maybe it was that arch. I tried it, deleted it, and sure enough, my map compiled. One last thing about leaks. You cannot seal a map with a liquid brush. Pretend you made a floor out of water and that was your floor. You can't do that. You have to have something underneath it and surrounding the edges uh, because it just simply will leak. So that's enough about leaks. Now, uh, what happens if you're making a map and your items keep disappearing? Uh, what's going on? Like, put the armor in there, it should be there. Easy fix. So if that happens, you compile your map, you're running around saying, wait, where's that key, or where's that armor, What? where's the ammo? It's probably fallen out of the level. I'll show you what that error looks like in Quake in a second. But what you want to do if that happens, just go to the item in question, or the monster, or whatever entity it is. And you're going to set your grid size to uh, 4. And you want your entity at least four uh, units, quake units, away from the brush that it's sitting on. And if it's near a wall, same thing. If it's near another entity, you also want it four quake units minimum distance between the two things. So if you had ammo next to it and it was too close, it could cause the same problem. So you want to make sure you've got four quake units uh, difference. And that's where that comes into play, the grid, grid size. It's not always going to happen, and your mileage may vary. A lot of times, I will just place things right on the floor, and it, I don't have problems. It depends on some things that are outside of the scope of this tutorial, but you know how to fix it now. The way you'll find some of these errors is to add developer1 to your command line. So in your compiling GUI down here, there's uh, command line arguments. You just want to add plus developer space 1. Now, I said no spaces, but that was file names. This is a command line argument, totally different thing. When Quake loads, you're going to have a lot more information on the screen. And right up here above Fitzquake, you'll see bonus item fell out of level and then the origin of that item. Quake mapping isn't just about knowing how to use the tools. It's also knowing, you know, how to navigate the minefield of issues that crop up. And we'll help you in these tutorials because things will crop up. But one of your best resources online is to go to Funk Message Board. There's a link down below. Funk Message Board is about 15 years old and there are thousands and thousands of posts. It's uh, an active community. Use the search function here. Let's look up bonus item, right? So there it is, bonus item fell out error. If you notice here, it's almost 20,000 posts in mapping help. So you're going to find what you're looking for. And the info dump that you'll get from Funk Message Board is vast. So bookmark that. So that's it for leaks, bonus items, and spaces. Thanks for hanging in there. We'll see you in the next tutorial.